Hello and welcome to another Edpuzzle video tutorial. Last time, we've looked at how to create questions and add them to your Edpuzzle video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create classes and manage your students. If for some reason you've missed previous parts, I will leave the link in the description of this video. Well, there are three ways you can create your Edpuzzle class. There's a classic Edpuzzle class, an open class, and Edpuzzle Google Classroom. And this tutorial will have a look at each type one at a time. Let's begin with creating an Edpuzzle classic class. First thing you need to do is log in into your Edpuzzle account. From here, go to My Classes. From here, we have two options, either add a new class or add a Google Classroom. We're well, gonna start and create a new class. From here, we can either create a classic class and an open class. If you create a classic class, your students will need to have Edpuzzle accounts. If they don't have accounts, they will need to create one. In open class, on the other hand, your students will not need to create Edpuzzle accounts. They will simply join your class without having an account. Let's begin and create a classic type. First thing Edpuzzle asks us to do is to put a name for our class. The next thing is the description. Once you've done that, click Create Class. Your classic Edpuzzle class has been created. Before we invite students, let's quickly look at the user interface. Up in the top, you have three tabs of Due Assignments, No Due Date, and Students. Because we don't have any assignments, this, these two tabs are going to be empty. We also don't have any students, that's why this tab is empty as well. Up on the top, you have class options where you can rename your class, rename the description, generate a new code, which we will talk a bit later. You can lock your classroom, again, another option that we will talk a bit later, or delete your class. Let's close class options. To begin inviting students, click on invite students. From here, you have several options as to how you will invite your students, either by sharing with them a class code or sharing with them an invitation link. From my personal experience, it's much easier for students to join your Edpuzzle classroom if you share a link with them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click copy this link and then paste it either on my Google Classroom or send it to my students via email. Basically, you just need to communicate this link to your students. We're going to imagine that this iPad is a student's iPad or student's computer and they received your link and they're about to join your Edpuzzle classroom. As a student, I'm going to paste the link that my teacher shared with me in my internet browser and click go. Because this student doesn't have an Edpuzzle account, Edpuzzle now offers me to create one. I need to put in my first name, last name, my username and a password. Notice how students don't have to put in their email address to create an account. Why don't we fill in these tabs and join the class? As a student, I now joined Edpuzzle Classic class. Now let's move back to the teacher's view to see what's changed. You will notice that now I have one student, John Green, with this username in my class. As a teacher, I have a couple of options as to what I can do with this student. If I click on these three dots, I can now edit his or her name. I can also reset the password. If your students forgot that password, this is where you will go to reset the password for them, or you can remove this student from the class. Now, this student did not have an Edpuzzle account, and that's why he had to create one. Now, let's have a look at the student who has used Edpuzzles uh, before, maybe with a different teacher, and he or she already has an account with Edpuzzle. So we're gonna take another iPad and imagine that this student already has an account. I'm gonna use the same link that my teacher shared with me. Again, if I click on invite students, this is the link. You notice that once I pasted this link into my internet browser, Edpuzzle tells me that it found Edpuzzle Classic class and I have two options, join the class and cancel. If I click join the class, Edpuzzle will take me directly to my class and now I've joined the class. Because this student had an account already, Edpuzzle did not require me to create one. From teacher's view, you will notice that I now have two students 
in my Edpuzzle class, I have John Green, a student who did not have an account and had to create one. And I have Mike Brown, who, well, has Edpuzzle account. This is our classic class and two types of login. Uh, they can either have an account with Edpuzzle, then Edpuzzle will let them write in. If they don't have an account, Edpuzzle will ask them to create one. We're going to create an open class now so you can see the difference. To create your second add puzzle class, click on add new class. We're going to create create a new class, but this time we're going to create open class. Give it a name first and description. I personally like to let students create their own names, so I normally leave this field unchecked. Let's click create class. So once we've done that, the interface is very similar to our classic class with one exception. There's no student tab. Let's go ahead and invite students to our open class. We can either invite them by the link or the class code. Now for this example, we are going to imagine that our student is joining from their phone. You don't have to join open class with your phone. I just want to show you uh, another way for students to join your ad puzzle. And this is through the ad puzzle app that is available on mobile device. Students can download the app from the app store or from the Google play market, depending on the model of their phone. So now I have my ad puzzle app on my phone and I'm going to open it. Now this is an ad puzzle for students use, not for the teachers. I now have three options. I, ha I can log in, I can sign up or I can enter open class code. And this is where students will need to go to join your open class. Enter open class code. Edpuzzle found my Edpuzzle open class that has been created by me, Evgeny, and because we let students to put in their own names, I'm going to put my name and click join class. From the student's interface, I only see my assignments, due assignments, no due assignments, and complete. Let's go back to the teacher's view and see what's changed there. And you can see from the screen, that the student tab will not be there because this is an open class and it doesn't keep record of who is in your class and who is not. You will still be able to see student progress per assignment and not through the gradebook. And this is something we're going to talk about next time. For now, just remember, in classic Edpuzzle class, you invite students to join Edpuzzle platform. They need to create an account if you don't have one already. In open class, you don't have student tab and students can just join by putting that code or by uh, using the link they don't need to have accounts. Now, finally, let's have a look at how we can create add puzzle class through the Google Classroom. Again, we're going to click on add new class and click on Google Classroom. Add puzzle now asks me which Google Classrooms I want to import onto the add puzzle. I only have one Google Classroom, which is add puzzle Google Classroom with one student in it, MS3 iPad 3. I'm going to select Add Puzzle Google Classroom and let Add Puzzle import this Google Classroom. Click Import Classes. Now I have my Add Puzzle Google Classroom and it already populated it with students who were in this Google Classroom. You might be wondering, do these students who are in your Google Classroom will need to create accounts? And the answer is no. Edpuzzle has already created accounts for them. There will be one step your students will need to do, but we will talk about that in our next tutorial. For now, that's all you need to do. Today, we've looked at how to create Edpuzzle classes and manage your students. You have learned that there are three types of Edpuzzle classes. First, there's classic Edpuzzle class, where students will need to have an account with Edpuzzle to join. If they don't have an account, Edpuzzle will ask them to create one. The second type is an open class where students don't have to have an account. They simply follow the link that you provided them with or enter the code. The third type of Edpuzzle class is an import from your Google Classroom. Each class type has its own pros and cons. If you're not sure which class type is best for you, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. I normally answer to every single comment. Well, that's it for today. Uh, in the next part, we will be looking at how to assign Ad Puzzle videos to your classes and to your students and track their progress. I appreciate you taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.